Hi, I'm Flora with Wired in Stone, and in today's video, I am going to teach you how to section your dreadlocks. I'll be working on my friend Corey Jane's beautiful hair to show you how to do the sectioning. We're going to be doing the square, like, brick method, and that is where you start with some rectangles on the bottom, and then you stagger them the rest of the way up. It's pretty easy once you get started because you just sort of follow the formula. Um, with Corey Jane, you'll see that I did three on the very bottom. If you do four on the bottom, you will have thinner dreads. It will add about one to two extra dreads per row. So you're gonna end up with almost 10 more dreads. I have four on my very bottom row. Um, some girls have three and um, with Corey Jane's, we totaled with 53 dreadlocks. I usually finish at about 65 to 80 dreads. That's usually how many I have on girls because they usually want thin ones. So I would recommend if you want thin like mine, starting with four on the bottom. The bottom of your head, like from your ears down, is only gonna be two rows. So it's gonna be only maybe seven dreadlocks, maybe eight, maybe 12. Depending on how big your head is, how much hair you have, but I like to make each of my sections about one inch by two inches, and you can even line up your comb to kind of measure those out each time. Um, but basically, they get smaller as you work towards the top of the head and the front of the face. I did two options here, so you can see on her right side, we just left one big dreadlock right here, and on her left side, we would have split that in two. So that will be up to you, however thin you want the ones framing your face. I like them to be thinner, but some people can't stand when they're thin filling up here, so they do thicker ones. So as you move up, you'll notice them getting kind of smaller, and that's good. You can choose to shorten the, the height of your rows as much as you want. Just shortening them a little will make it so that you have a whole extra row at the end. Um, so again, if you want more thinner dreadlocks, just keep that in mind, just to not make your sections too big. I am very anal about my lines being perfect, which over time that you're not gonna be able to tell if your lines are perfect because they kind of just get messed up. But to start with, I like to fix them. Like this part right here, you see that little chink? I will go and fix that too so it doesn't have that. Um, and as far as the back row, with mine, I took my part all the way back to like here. So my back row comes up to here. With girls that I work on, I like to bring their back row up to like here, because then you're gonna have a lot more fullness on the back of your head. So as you'll see with her, I took that back part pretty far up, and then I start doing the top rows going back. When you get to the top, you are going to want to think about where your natural part is. Some people, their hair wants to just be in one spot, so think about that. Um, but as you go on your dread journey, your natural part will change. When I started, this was my natural part right here. And I would always have my dreads like that. But nowadays, I just flop them and wear them basically however they fall. So it will change over time and that's nice. But if you wanna think about that. And then also maybe keep in mind about a middle part. If you want a middle part or not, you can plan that out. I like to make it so there's a dreadlock down the middle, actually, so that there is not a middle part. Another thing I wanna add is your sections don't necessarily determine the thickness of your dreads, because the more that you build your twi twist and rip or your back combing, you could build that so that your dread is really thick and short, or you can just barely fluff it so that your dread is thin and long. So just keep that in mind that you can make your dreads how thick you want and your extensions, no matter how much hair is there. You just got to get to know it, get some practice. Your bottom ones might not be as awesome as your top ones. Mine were not. Um, anyways, comment any questions below. Subscribe to our channel to be notified of Oh, there's even a button you can click which will notify you directly when there's a new video. Um, what were we talking about? Follow us on Instagram, at Wired and Stoned. If you're working on your hair, tag us. It would be cool to see. Um, visit our website, getwiredandstone.com if you need any kind of tools or supplies. Good luck. Good luck on your dread journey. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Continue to watch our videos, please. That would be really cool. Okay, say yeah.